Watermelon is delicious on its own, but our next guest is going to show us how to prepare it with a surprising twist that your guests will love. Denise Mickelson is the associate editor of Fine Cooking Magazine. Welcome back, Denise. Thank you so much. All right, we are talking about watermelon. Watermelon. This is one of my favorite things to eat during the summer, really. It's the perfect summer fruit, but everybody thinks about eating it out of hand, right? It just Absolutely. Cuts, you well, know, it's easy. Wedge. Cut it, and it tastes and so go. sweet. And it's, it's a perfect dessert on its own. But, you know, you can take it a savory way. You can make it into a salsa, into a regular tomato, but with watermelon salsa to go with chips. It's so good. It's so good for cookouts and barbecues and so picnics. So it can be sweet and tangy at the same yes. time. Yes. Yes. I'm going to show you. Okay. You ready? All right. I'm ready. Okay. Let's take a look at what you have ingredient wise. All right. Here. So, well, we've got our watermelon. Look how beautiful and red it is. Okay. Really quickly, how yeah. do we choose a watermelon? Okay. You want something and I should have a yellow spot underneath because that's where it rested on the ground as it grew. Okay. Um, and you want it to be heavy for its size, although all watermelons are heavy, aren't they? <laughs> Pretty big. And, um, you know, thump it. And if it sounds, you know, nice and kind of solid, and it's nice and green, and it's got the yellow spot on the bottom, you should be good to go. All right, so if it sounds a little hollow. Yeah, you don't want it you to don't sound want hollow. That. No. Something solid. No, nice and solid, heavy for its size, no blemishes, obviously, no cracks, nothing like that. You know, if it looks nice and fresh and moist. Okay, so that's how we choose our watermelon. All right, so that's how you choose. So okay. now we have a watermelon. This is about a pound and a half worth of watermelon cut up. What we're going to do to bring out its kind of like savory side, mm -hmm. we're going to take chipotle chili, which is a nice smoky chili. We're going to mix it with a little oil. And you can get the chipotle chili in at the, the supermarket. spice rack, Yeah, right? just at okay. the spice rack. It's okay. already ground up for you. We're just going to brush a little bit of that on our watermelon. This is going to add a little smoky note to the salsa. It's really delicious. So you brush that on, mm -hmm. and then you sprinkle it just with a little bit of salt. Because everything is better with salt. Kosher salt. Kosher salt. Okay. And then we are going to take this, and we're going to grill it. Let, ooh, ooh here the, here sizzle. the sizzle. Yes. It's working. So this is also really quick. Get your grill or your grill pan mm -hmm. if you're inside. Just screaming hot. Grill it for about a minute per side. You just want to see nice grill marks. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So, you know, you could do this while you have something else grilling your dinner. Absolutely. And then you've got the salsa. So, we're going to kind of move this, we're hoping that these are nice. How long does it usually take? Usually a minute per side, but see, this it is looks pretty good. hot. We're already getting a little something. And we're just going to kind of move this along. This is oh, television look how pretty. Oh, look at that. Very nice. It's beautiful. And really, you just, heat brings out flavor. So it's just bringing out the and sweetness it out of the, the watermelon. Color too. And it brings out the color a little bit. So let's just take this off. Okay. Bring it to our board over here. Okay. Oh, doesn't that smell good? You want good? me to put the other one? It really smells we'll good. We'll just leave it as is. We'll just leave it as is. Okay. We'll just move this along. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut off the rind. If it's hot, you can let it cool for a minute. But you're going to cut off the rind just like that. It doesn't uh, have to be perfect. I don't know why, but this watermelon doesn't look like it has too many seeds. No, it doesn't. And, you know, if you see any, you can just kind of pop them out with your finger. No big deal. I usually choose the one that has just a ton of seeds. Yeah, well, you don't want seeds in your uh, salsa. So if you see okay. a lot of seeds... Get just rid of them. Get rid of them. Okay. We're just going to chop this up real quick. Now, pretend we're at home and we're really making this. We're going to do all this watermelon. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we're just going to throw the watermelon we have okay. right in there, and we're going to move on to the other ingredients that we have. And we're going to turn off the oven because it's, it's uh, going to burn. Smoking. Yes. Okay. Okay. We've got a third of a cup of cucumber. Just you know the plastic wrapped seedless cucumbers you get in the store. Oh, I like that. I like yeah. my cucumber seedless. Me too. Really. Me too. I always buy those, and they're sweet. They're nice. Yes. Crunchy. These are serrano chilies. We took the seeds out because we didn't want it to be overly spicy. You want to get the sweetness of the watermelon. Because it is the seeds that's, that's the really seeds spicy, right? I have the spice. So okay. that's half of a serrano chili. We've got a tablespoon of shallot, some chopped fresh cilantro, and a tomato. Because salsa, you of course, know, you've got to have the tomato. tomato. Also, we've got a tablespoon of oil just to kind of pull the whole thing together. Now, you're just going to run this through. You just want to pulse it. Yeah, and you just put quickly. I mean, one, two, three, right? Salsas are good chunky, aren't they? Absolutely. So, look, you're done. You are done. Now, could you add, like, avocado or anything oh, to sure. that if you want? You could kind of give it a guacamole yes. edge. Absolutely. But look at this. So we're going to pour this in here. <laughs> Looks all frothy now, but it's going to settle down. You add a little lime juice. And now here's the trick with the salsa. If I put salt on this right now, we're going to let this sit for an hour so all the flavors can blend together. If I put the salt in now, it's going to draw all the water out of the tomato and the watermelon and the cucumber. It's going to go get all watery. You don't want a watery salsa. So at this point, you let this sit for an hour and get all the flavors One to hour. When you're about to serve it, I mean, you could do half You hour, let it sit just anywhere in the kitchen. Just let it sit right on your counter. Okay. Let all the flavors blend. And when you're ready to serve it, you add salt. 
So that way it tastes good, but it hasn't gotten all watery because, you know, nobody wants a watery salsa. <laughs> So there you go. That is all oh, the salsa. To it. That's and it. And that recipe is in this month's. It is. It's in our June July magazine. issue of Fine Cooking, and it's on FineCooking.com as all right. well. Good. Yeah. And of course, we'll also have that recipe on our website, wtnage.com, and click on Connecticut Style. Yeah. Well, this is great. Now we Wait, are moving on. We have another special treat That's right. here. We, we are going to make our own tortilla chips. This okay. is awesome. No, no, no. Now, I usually buy mine. Just I know. So you know. You can buy them, but we have a special twist with these. So okay. what you're going to do, you're just going to take regular corn tortillas you bought at the store, cut them into six pieces. Can you use any type of tortilla? Because, you know, they're well, this different is good flavors. For corn. I don't know how flour tortillas would fry up. Really? Oh, okay. you mean flavored, flavored ones? Flavored ones. I've seen they don't those make too. Flavored corn ones. I think they okay. just make flavored corn. So you flour. just want to use corn. Corn tortillas. Okay. You know, because then it's like a corn chip, okay. you know, that you're dipping in the salsa. So what you're going to do is you take salt, kosher salt and lime zest. You see how it's all beautiful and green? You're going to mix that together with your fingers and mush the, the zest into the salt. Do you smell that now? I do. It's starting to get all citrusy. And is that from one? That's just a one, teaspoon and a half of salt and the zest of one, one lime. lime. Okay. And it gets, it actually starts to turn green. All the oils from the zest go into the salt. Oh yeah, you can and smell it, the lime. Right? Isn't that delicious? Mm. So that's a little seasoned salt. We're going to even stir in a little cayenne there. And it's now got a little spice to it. That's going to go on our chips. But watch how easy this is. Okay. We are going to take these chips. This is half an inch of vegetable How oil. hot is that? Is that pretty hot? It's hot, but okay. here's how you know if it's ready. You put in a chip, and if it starts to sizzle immediately, oh, it's ready. good. So look, you just throw a few of these in. They're sizzling away. It's going to take about a minute. But this is not a deep fry. Like, no. this is not that much oil. You could always save it and fry something else. But look, you're making your own tortilla chips. That's all you have to do. That is really easy. Right? That is so easy. And, oh, you know what? We don't have our bag. But what, what do you need? A paper bag, which, you know what? We had, but now it's not here. It's not a big deal. Here's okay. what you're going to do. You are going to fry these until they're golden brown. Okay. So that's going to take about a minute or two. And you're going to we'll put, put them on. These are not yet golden brown, but let's just move along anyway. We're going to put them on the paper towel to drain. And then, when they're not too hot to handle, mm -hmm. you're going to put them into a brown paper bag, all right. a clean bag. And you're going to take toss this, this in. not all of it, oh. don't put in all of it once, because you're going to do batches of these. You're going to put in a little handful of that, you're going to shake the bag gently, don't crush your chips, and the warm chips are going to take on all the seasoned salts, it's going to adhere to them, you're going to have these amazing flavored tortilla corn chips. And we actually have some right and here. And we do, thank goodness, <laughs> look, so we have these, and this, and this is, is the how, salsa. And this is how you want the color to right. look. so this is the golden, golden brown, brown we're look. talking about. You can here. actually see the spices, can I you? can and see, look, the, you can lime see the lime zest. Yes. These are so delicious, but here's a shortcut. Okay. If you don't want to go through the frying, <laughs> buy your me. regular own tortilla chips that you like, Put them on a uh, baking sheet and put them in a low oven. Just get them a little warm okay. and then do the bag trick. Make the salt. Oh, so you add them. your own spices. Yeah, so then you get that it. flavor, but you didn't have to fry the chips. That's perfectly acceptable. Oh, all right. Well, this, really is, so try. this is try. a great dish to yes. serve at a picnic exactly. or anything it's, that it's, you're having at home. If you like salsa, this could go on fish tacos. It'd be delicious. Oh, that's perfect. You could serve it with um, halibut, with shrimp, with salmon. I mean, this wow. is a really versatile salsa. Okay, are you going to try this with well, me? Of course I am. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? Yeah, ready. All right, we're gonna make loud crunching noises. We are. That's okay. Mmm. Mmm. Right? I love the lime and the salt. It's delicious. Sweet, salty, using your favorite, you know, that fruit of the season, watermelon. Denise, as always, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. We love it when you come. <laughs> My pleasure. All right, there's more Connecticut style coming your way right after this. Mm, really? It's good, mm. right? Delicious and easy.